an ant, the small animal ant, uh, is uh, small. Uh, but an elephant is big. Uh, an ant is smaller than an elephant is not enough. So uh, we need a degree here, okay, to modify uh, the, the adjective uh, smaller. So we say an ant is absolutely smaller than an elephant or uh, extremely, an ant is extremely uh, smaller than an elephant, just like saying uh, much smaller, an ant is much smaller than an elephant, an ant is uh, far smaller than an elephant. Okay, now let's uh, go on to the last uh, presentation uh, connected with uh, those modifying uh, comparatives and superlatives. Yes, in fact, uh, th those uh, five or six uh, presentations and videos uh, have been about the degrees of adjectives, the degrees of comparatives, and the degrees of even superlatives. Yes. Okay, uh, now let's start with a GIF. As you see, there is a base uh, with a tulip in it, and it uh, turns around. It's uh, axis, or it's it. yes. It, uh, it is pivoting around an axis. Okay. Uh, what is your opinion on this vase? What is your opinion about this vase? Or what can you say about this vase? Uh, can I get your comments on this vase? Or... Uh, what can you comment as a verb? What can you comment on this vase as a noun? Can I have your comments on this vase? Yes. Yes, I can say that it is a beautiful vase. But what about saying again? It is uh, so beautiful that, okay, yes, we have studied them, but... Uh, because they are also in the category of modifying adjectives, let's uh, study them or let's review them again. Okay, uh, trip eight, uh, trip eight, Roman number uh, 15, adjective enough to do something. Okay, the green ways is cheap enough. Okay, the green vase is cheap enough to buy. Adjective enough, cheap enough to buy. Which vase is useful enough to buy? The brown vase is useful enough to buy. Which vase is elegant enough to buy? So let's go backward. Uh, this blue and white, blue and white vase is elegant enough to buy, is beautiful enough to buy. Okay. Now, of course, it's a summary. Again, we you know them. I am sure that you know them. But because of, uh, as I said, because of uh, the, they are also in this category. Okay. To adjective to do something, as you know, it has got a negative message in it. The blue one is too expensive to buy. Okay. Yes. To adjective to do. In fact, it, it, it's a general rule adjective to do something, but again here, to adjective to do. Which one is too heavy to carry? The brown and black. The brown and black one is too heavy to carry for me. 
So adjective that, okay? Now, uh, adjective that, it is also a general rule. This time, we don't use so adjective infinitive, but we use so adjective that, with that clause, okay? Uh, dialogue three, the purple vase is so expensive that we can't buy it. So expensive that we can't buy it. Can we carry the brown vase? No, we can't carry the brown vase because it is so heavy that we can't do it. We can't carry it. Okay, such an adjective noun that. Yes, of course, uh, as I said, uh, we should, uh, we should uh, familiarize with them by repeating them again and again. Such an adjective noun that. It's such an expensive ways that, it's such an expensive ways that we cannot buy it. Which one is such an elegant ways that we have to buy? So the blue and uh, the blue and white ways is such an elegant ways that we have to buy it. Okay, now Roman number uh, uh, six before the last I think. Yes, and we have one more uh, Roman number uh, seventeen. Okay, seventeen. So this is sixteen. Okay, it is just as blank so. Okay, for example, just as Peter is decisive, so is his wife. Yes, do you remember that kind of structure? For example, Peter is decisive, decisive, so is his wife. So is his wife, inversion structure. Is his wife is not a question, although it is in the question structure. After so, it is an emphasis. Okay, so is his wife. It means uh, his wife is decisive too. His wife is decisive as well. Or his wife is also decisive. Determined. Okay, just as Peter decides on something quickly, so does his wife. Okay, he decides on something quickly, so does she. Okay. English is learned step by step, just as a city is known, is learned day by day. Okay. Just as English is learned slowly and gently, so is a city. Just as appetite is necessary for eating, so is willingness for learning. Eagerness, willingness uh, is uh, also necessary. It means oh, it is also necessary. Okay, what about the gift? Gift says <laughs> step one, step one, think of what to say. Step two, say it. Yes, don't stop, say it. And uh, hello, London, Paris, adventure, American dream, New York. Yes, it is because I think I put uh, that image there uh, because because uh, the uh, metaphor that because of the metaphor that uh, learning a city is like learning a new language. Okay. What did Angela Angela Merkel said? She said the willingness to learn new skills is very high. Yes, it's very high here. I think is very important. Willingness is a must. Okay, uh, what? Let's see what the GP Kaufman uh, said. He said the economy depends about as much on economists as the weather does on weather forecasters. Yeah. So I think uh, the message of this is that both of them have their own principles and laws. Economy has its own laws 
and standards and weather has its own uh, laws. Okay. Now, uh, Alfred, Alfred Adler, yes, said, okay, some more sentence on comparisons. Yeah, he said, it is easier to fight for principles, ideals, than to live up to them. Yes, it is easier to fight for principles, uh, for ideals, than to live up to them. So, yes. yes. So, fighting is easier, uh, easy, but living up to, living according to, living according to those ideals is difficult. Or, uh, not easy. Okay. Classical Adlerian psychotherapy embodies a diplomatic, warm, em empathic, and Socratic style of treatment. Yes. Mental health, it says. Okay. Uh, now, George, uh, George Bernard Shaw said, Money is the most important, okay, the superlative degree of adjectives. Money is important. Money is the most important, okay, uh, thing in the world. It represents health, strength, honor, generosity, and beauty. Now, this is the one side of uh, money. As uh, conspicuously or as remarkably, and undeniably, as the want of it, on the other hand, yeah, the want of it, the want of money represents illness, weakness, disgrace, meanness, and ugliness. Yes, perfect. I think we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't uh, put the love of money in our hearts. Yes, it is, inspires me that uh, we shouldn't put the law of money in our hearts, but we should give importance to it uh, to live to live uh, a true life. Yes. Bernard Shaw, uh, by the way, let's uh, have a short knowledge about him. He lived between 1856 and 1950. He was born in Dublin, the son of a civil servant. His education was irregular due to his dislike of any organized training. After working in an estate agent's office for a while, he moved to London as a young man. The Google says like this. Okay, our goal is our goal is to ah again John F Kennedy, uh, John F Kennedy said our goal is to influence history instead of merely or simply observing it. Okay, so uh, Pop uh, Paplius Cyrus uh, said. Some remedies are worse than, comparative than, worse than the diseases. The second uh, saying of him, I have often regretted my speech, never my silence. Yes, yes I have never regretted my silence. Okay, uh, again, Samuel Jackson said, I never desire to converse with a man who has written more than he has read. Perfect sentence. Yes. First, uh, feeding, nurturing. Yes, nurturing is first. Reading, listening, learning, observing is first, and then, then speaking. In yes, Samuel Jackson, then, then reading has to overweigh writing. Yes. Now, Greenville said, 
most men have more courage than even they themselves think they have. Again, a nice, in fact, it is in a nice structure, yes. Most men have more courage than even they themselves think they have. Okay, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, da Vinci said, just as iron rusts from this use, okay, even so does inaction spoil the intellect. Yeah. So, no stagnation. Action. Yes, if we can produce a motto, I think, like this. Uh, always, uh, always action, but never stagnation. Stagnant water, uh, because stagnant water uh, cannot keep its purity. Okay. Now, uh, Necip Fazıl Kısakürek in Reis Bey. Operate your mind. Use your mind. Yes, operate your mind. Operate your mind just as you operated, just as you operated your hands in killing your nanny, in murdering your nanny. Of course, the character said, I have never, I have never killed, I have never murdered my nanny. Okay, dialogue five, you look just like your father. Does your father look like his father? Does your father look like his father? Just as you look like your father? Yes, my father uh, looks like his father just, uh, just as I look like my father. Okay, quiz time again. So, uh, quiz uh, tour one of harmony three and trip eight of arm harmony of tour one. Trip eight of tour one. Okay, question one. Uh, let's go on to uh, the key again. Yes, to gain time, to make use of time. Okay. Question one, half of the water in the tank was used for irrigation, for watering, for irrigation during hot summer days. Yes, half of the water, as much as. So half of the water is also true. This is also a true sentence, but to modify it, okay? So, uh, of course, we need them. As much as, yes, as much as half of the water in the tank was used for irrigation during hot summer days. Yes. Two, pages of the booklet are full of practical advice, blank of which can be applied in the field of, of genetics. So most pages of the booklet are full of practical advice, all of which can be applied in the field of genetics. Yes. They didn't find walking blank, tiring blank, riding. So again, there is a comparison. Uh, they didn't find walking as tiring as riding. Or uh, do you remember we can also use so instead of the first S. They didn't find walking so tiring as riding. Okay. So E is true. For his blank at tennis than she is. <clears throat> he is blank at tennis than she is. So a comparative degree of, adject uh, of uh, adjectives, yes. He is much better at tennis than she is. He is good at tennis, but because there is then, so we need the comparative form of adjective good. Okay. We paid health as blank as we expected for the meal. Yeah. So we paid health as much as we, we, we had expected for the meal. Now, let's 
uh, try to increase our vocabulary, starting with have a good eye. Yes, have a, or have an eye. Have an eye for something, uh, also possible. Have a good eye for something. Be good at noticing a particular type of thing. Differ from, you know, we studied them. Differ from means be different from, okay? Something in some way, dignified, 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 dignified. And also adjective, verb three, part, past participle, also adjective. Behaving in a calm and serious way, even in a difficult situation, which makes people respect you. Sullen has a, a disapproval meaning, angry and silent. Sulky. Hold on to means if you hold on to your beliefs, ideals, ideas, or principles, you continue to believe in them and do not change or abandon them. Do not change or quit them. Give up them. You don't give up them. If you hold on to your ideals, purposes, aims, goals. Okay. I can uh, I can say that Meli has a good eye for clothes because he is quick to understand the quality of almost every shirt or t-shirt. Why can you say that Sedat has a good side for foods? Uh, it, it, our purpose to uh, to be able to use that expression in a sentence. So let's start with a complete long sentence. Sedat has a good eye for foods because because he immediately he must understand the quality of all kinds of foods. Who else has an eye for details? Yasemin has an eye for details. Yos has an eye for, okay, Yos has an eye for cars because he immediately figures out if a car is in good quality or not, or not in good quality. Who has an eye for books? Rasim has an eye for books because he immediately understands uh, understands whether a book is uh, useful or not. Being dignified and serious, okay, being dignified and serious differs from being sullen and sulky. What differs from being hardworking or what is different from being hardworking? So uh, being a, a hard uh, work, workaholic, being a workaholic is different from being hardworking or being a, a workaholic differs from being hardworking. Don't mix them. Yes, a workaholic, yes, don't mix being a workaholic, workaholic is a person, is a character, and uh, hardworking is adjective. So don't mix them. Don't mix uh, being hardworking and being a workaholic. Okay, Meli always holds on to coherence to communicate well with others. What else does he hold on to? Uh, he also holds on to uh, resilience. He also holds on to harmony, communic uh, good communication, uh, communication with others. Okay, a wit reader comes to my mind in the first place immediately. Yeah, a wit as an adjective means be uh, a wit for something for doing something extremely eager or interested, hungry to learn, hungry for learning, enthusiastic, full of life, keen, voracious, wanting to be, wanting to do, wanting to have something very much. The opposite is apathetic or lethargic, indifferent, unenthusiastic, uninterested. Come or be a bolt from, from or out of, out of the blue, blue sky, I think, yeah. bolt. 
news that is sudden and unexpected. Okay, news that is sudden and unexpected. Let's see them in dialogues. Murat read an interesting piece of news yesterday. Who got who got lots of useful information from a website yesterday? Uh, Yasin, uh, Yasin got lots of in useful information from a website yesterday. Is Suat an avid reader or an avid learner? Suat is both an avid reader and an avid learner. Eager learner, enthusiastic learner. Swat is an avid, eager, willing learner. He always shows or takes an avid interest in whatever he is learning. What do you think he is avid for currently? He is avid, uh, he is avid for he is avid for acquiring English recently. Lots of money came or was like a bolt. Came like a bolt, was like a bolt. Money is uncountable, so lots of money was like a bolt from the blue for Rashid. What came like a bolt from the blue for Nadir? Uh, a villa and a car came like a bolt from the blue for Nadir. The news of the accident was like a bolt from the sky for Halid. What came like a boat from the blue for Halis? Uh, a piece of news, a piece of news about, about a job abroad came like a boat from the blue for Halis. Okay, thank you very much. And so we have finished uh, studying, uh, studying the comparatives and the degrees of comparatives and the degrees of superlatives. Okay. Well, I wish you a good day and see you next time.